Hello and welcome everybody. This is your host, Leo Vok, and you're just in time for more Undertale. In the last episode, we explored the caverns a bit more, and we found a, music, a musical statue and a room do, in which to do that musical, in, the room in which to copy that musical note down. And we also found an annoying dog that stole an artifact and gave and left us with dog residue. Yay. So here we are in a very rainy part of the caverns. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. Oh, this is so stinking adorable. Man, that thing is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> I think this little monster kid has a black eye. That's from where Undyne punched him? Or grabbed him? So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king. We had to call Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. You're a messed up kid. Um, maybe, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever get hurt an innocent person. Huh. And right here, <laughs> he gets a little head start on us. Oh, uh, <clears throat> when I first saw this, I immediately did a did a print screen and copied it into Paint and saved it as a wallpaper. I have this exact image, or close to it, I think it might actually be something like this, really. I think I have it more center. No, I think I have, like, something like... Something like this. On, or something like... Something like this. On my desktop as a wallpaper. It cycle like I have a program that cycles through my wallpaper every now and then. It's one of my things that cycles through wallpaper through the other wallpaper. Yeah, I'm sure there was someone that did it online, but I did. It, I wanted to do it myself. Let me go ahead and put it back. You turn the umbrella. Yo, this gun is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Okay. There we go. Yo, you going ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll, I always find a way to get through. Oh, that's... <laughs> a little bit, I don't know what it is about that. It's, it's, it's got to make the animation or something. It's so is this very fluid. Serene sound of a distant music box. Fills you with determination. Not the bridge. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could be hard. It could hardly be called a war. United, the humans are too powerful and this monster is too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Ooh, it's not. Uh oh. Oh no. no. Well, so yeah, this part is pretty self explanatory. Just don't step in the blue spots. Um, it's fairly easy to dodge these attacks. Um,.
I gotta remember where to go because as you can tell it gets a little uh, broken apart. Uh I think it goes. Oop! Oh, and you text it faster and faster. Here we go. I did go the right way on the first try. Uh, there's no items if you go the wrong way, just let you know. I checked my first time. Whew. Where is she now? Oh no. Um. No. Uh. Oh no. Uh, I'm a little scared now. What? Ah! A weird sense of deja vu. Sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Beerfuck? Huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Huh. That's interesting. So yeah, here we are down in the junkyard. That's what this is. Piles of garbage. There's quite a few brands you recognize. Hmm. This must be where the human garbage goes. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling to the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss, uh, into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Quite a few brands. Okay, we already read that. So yeah, that's. At the end of the rest of the bike, its horns squeezes a honk of despair. That is a honk of despair, alright. Be a desktop computer, the insides are empty. It's a cooler, it has, it has no brand and shows no sign of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Take one. Now we don't have the space, so. Uh, I'm going to do that. Bid a quiet farewell to the tough glove. Got astronaut food. Astronaut food. He was 21 HP for feeding a pet astronaut. The duty case for an enemy. This desperate claw marks cover the edge. Oh. Yeah, look at the dummy. Seems like a regular training dummy. You want to beat it up? No. We stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Hmm? Whoa! Ha ha ha! Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy! Dummy? My cousin used to live inside a dummy too until you came along. When you talk to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. What? Mad dummy attack 7, negative 40 defense. Because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. So yeah, one of the things about this guy is you gotta get him to attack himself. Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! 
Hey, you forget I said anything about magic. You already seem in, <laughs> you already seem in damage. You talked to me. It doesn't seem much for conversation. I was happy with this. I had a feature and take your soul. There we go. Mad dummy glares into a mirror and turns to you with the same expression. Um, I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. There we go. Mad dummy is hopping mad. I'll stand in the window with a fancy store. It's getting caught all over the dialogue box. Then everything I will I want will be mine. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll be my cousin. Hmm. Getting caught all over the dialogue box. What was their name again? I believe this is a Kickstarter boss, like one of the tiers from for the Kickstarter. Hey guys! Dummies! 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 Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> now I see my true power! From people that aren't garbage! The mechanical words feel the room. Dummy bots! Magic missile! Ouch. Oh, right. I'm just doing an armless scar dance. Dummy bots, try again! Ouch. There we go. This is the part that can get kind of hard. Dummy bots, you're awful! As long as you dodge, you should be good. Dying bots, final attack! Ouch. There we go. Ooh, no way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives! I'm... I'm knives! But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me, but I can't hurt you! Oh, you'll be stuck fighting me forever! 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 <laughs> Ooh, acid rain. What? What the heck is this? Yeah, acid rain! Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. This is, a ra this is a random boss fight. Hey, it's not the Bluke. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? Since I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Well, we head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with me if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Huh, that was random. Hey. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Huh. Feel calming tranquility as you're filled with determination. So yeah, I think we'll go ahead and head up here and check out... <laughs> That's the Blue's home. Uh, just oh, by the way, we're in a, we're in Waterfall. By the way, this is the town of Waterfall. And if we go over here, you can actually see the little duck, and it'll take us across the other side if you are so inclined to do. Up here is what? 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 It's a living. 
doesn't seem like anyone's home. It's a very interesting looking house. Remember that house, it'll be important later. Well, if you're trying to do pacifist. Uh, so we got a snail zoo here. Let's uh, talk to this guy first. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to the Blue Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. What? It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Snail, snail. A long journey, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So, snail, Sam Been long overdue for a second house. The snail is counting dollar bills. So right here we have the Thunder Snail Race. You wanna play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It sends you to play. Yeah, sure. Okay, press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Go! Come on, you can do it! You can do it! You can do it! Yeah, you can do it! You can do it! Come on, you guys! You can do it! 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 Um... Thank you, got it! You keep going, you can do it! I think... Oh, looks like you're currently snow too much. Oh, that pressure to succeed. You really got to her. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, there's a trick to this. Um, I don't know exactly what the trick is. But the main thing is you want your snail to come in second place because you'll actually get a better payoff. Um, but yeah. So real quick, we're going to Napster Blue's home. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Oh, that's my TV. This is a show I like to watch on it sometimes. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. You want to try it? Excuse <laughs> me. Sure. You tend to bite into the ghost sandwich. Phase right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. You want to just join me? Yeah, sure. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. Lie down as long as you like, as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. This feels relaxing. I like how the music is like, an, is like a really eight slow remix of the dummy boss. And whoa. Whoa. I can feel the power of the cosmos weaving in and out. It's like I suddenly understand the universe and stuff, man. Oh. Okay, we gotta get up. This is too crazy. It's too much. Oh, that was nice. Thank you. Oh. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Aww. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Gula Day music. Play it? Sure. Spookway. Then you forgot what Gula Day is. Okay. So yeah, these two are virtually the same. These are all in the OST, by the way. Like, if you buy the soundtrack. I believe. There we go. <laughs> what the heck is that music? I don't know, dude, but it's spooking me out! Wink! This is worse than Shiren! 
No way, you shot his way, that's scary. Wink! <laughs> You're so scared, why do you keep winking? These are weeks of fear. Wink! Forget it, this bee is too filthy. Whoosh, whoosh, wait, don't leave me! Is this creepy music my punishment for being creepy? <laughs> Wink! Please stop, I'll never creep again! Wink! Wah! <laughs> He knows he's creepy, that's the messed up part. He knows he's being creepy. Uh. Okay. So I think we'll go ahead and end the episode off here for now. Um, we've basically explored quite a bit of the area. Um, yeah. We'll continue on our journey after um, in the next episode. So until then... I'll see you guys later.